What is up guys and welcome back. So this video is going to show you the locations to the Boggling Companion on the Mantis. Now there is only three locations unfortunately that I've found and the, the two at least are the two vents either left hand side of this table and that's probably where you found in the first time and the third one is going to be a little bit trickier but uh, see if you can notice it as I walk into this room now. Uh, I'll do a little change here. I'm going to walk into the food, a food area and tell me if you can see him straight away. Yeah, I saw him instantly when that happened. He's underneath the hollow table right there. Can you see him? Just to the left. Now he'll move to the right hand side if you walk up close. Now you can't interact with him. Or her. <laughs> but uh, still cute nonetheless. I just wish it could be found in other places. And I've searched everywhere. Now the next thing I want to show you is the conversations that Greece has. Uh, he's pretty much certain that there is a stowaway of some sort on the ship. But uh, he has no idea. But the joke's on him because everyone else does know. Well, Grease, what did you cook? It smells awful. Nothing. Look, I'm telling you, I think there's something going on with the manis. Maybe the kid dragged something in. You sure it's not your food? Listen, I know what my food smells like, and it ain't that. I've also been finding hair all over the place, small and wiry. <laughs> like yours? No, not like mine, smaller. I'm telling you, it's a clue. There's a stowaway on this ship, and I am gonna prove it. Yeah, you've mentioned that before. Any luck? Do I ever have any luck? Of course not. I'll be keeping an eye on everything. If you have any leads, let me know. Sure thing. I do not watch others sleep. She's got you there. Then there can only be one culprit, the stowaway. It's the only answer. I'm gonna find out who they are and where they've been hiding if it's the last thing I do. Should we tell him? Yeah, he's better off not knowing. I just love it. I love the extra effort they put in. Thanks now this is a BD's actions. Now if you haven't watched him before, then you should go and have a look at him. He has a couple of actions he does when you travel between planets. And the one is my favorite. The one he looks like that and you'll jump up and look around. Now there's another one he does, which uh, I absolutely love. When I first saw it, I laughed so damn loud. Let's have a look here when he does it. Now that is just the looking one. Now I'm going to show you the, the sneaky, sneaky, naughty little BD one. You're a pro, right? Where'd you learn to access that Imperial network anyway? <laughs> I love it. I love how he looks at Grease first. Grease. He looks at him, looks at the button, then looks back at him, and then pushes it. He'll do it again in a second now. Come on. He's going to go right now. He looks at it, looks up, and then looks again. I love it. Has anyone else heard the uh, Star Wars theme that he hums when you hack a robot? Let me show you this now. So once you've got a mechanical droid down to hackable mode, he will hum it. One more time, louder. I love it. I love the extra little things they put in this game, dude. I absolutely love it. Alright guys, please smash the like button if you're enjoying the content and subscribe if you are loving it. Plenty more videos on the way. I'm trying to get my Let's Play uh, Jedi Master playthrough up and running. Uh, I'm not feeling very well at all. It's very strange for me to be sick two times in one year. But this is what I'm dealing with right now. So the second I'm feeling better, I will start doing my commentary on the Let's Play. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And I want to catch you on the next one.